For some, President Trump is defined by his tweets and uh, his uh, unapologetic views of how he speaks his mind. Pastor Daryl Scott says he once viewed the president through that uh, stereotypical lens. But now, in his new book, he shares behind-the-scenes details about the president who he uh, now enthusiastically supports. White House correspondent Jen Pellegrino has that story. Joining me now is Pastor Daryl Scott, CEO of the National Diversity Coalition for Trump and author of the new book, Nothing to Lose. Congratulations on your new book, Pastor, and thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. So, you know, there's a lot of books that are dropping right now, um, a lot of them with bombshell uh, revelations, uh, most of them not so positive towards the president. Your book is quite a bit different. Tell us about what made you decide to write this book and, and why you're releasing it now. Well, you know, as you're living your life, you don't think anything is spectacular. When you're in your day to day, you see it as just another day to day. But then you look back when you have times of reflection and say, you know what, some, some pretty amazing things occurred along the course of this journey. And you see and, and, and hear the detractors of our president, you tell yourself they really don't know this guy. It's not what they think it is. It's not what they say it is. And so, you know, the book was originally finished right around January, and then the pandemic put it on pause. I was going to release it earlier, but the pandemic put it on pause. And now I see even the hand of God in that because it seems as if it's more timely today during this election season than it would have been back in February. What I find so interesting is that, you know, back when you first met the president in 2011, you had a very different view of him back then. Tell us where your mind was and what changed how you felt about him. Well, when the first time I met the president, I wasn't expecting to meet him. Uh, I was in a meeting with a friend. He came into this meeting and introduced himself and I thought he was going to say hi and bye. And what he said was, he said, I asked my friend to invite some people here that she thinks is in touch with God, because I'm thinking about running for president in 2012 against Barack Obama. And I need you guys to pray for me that God gives me the wisdom to make the right decision. But then I said to him, what makes you think black people are gonna vote for you? Because word on the street is, you're a racist. And he looked at me right in my eye and he said, I'm about the least racist person you ever want to meet. I work with all walks of people and all walks of life. I can't be a racist and do what I do. And what he didn't do was he didn't start trying to pander to me to prove to me that he wasn't a racist. And we had a great conversation, great interaction, great engagement, and I liked it. And I guess he liked me too. And I guess God spoke to him and said, uh, hey, Donald, don't run in 2012. Wait till 2016 and I got you. Because <laughs> apparently God told him don't run there and told him to run in 2016 and he won. And look how it worked <laughs> out. And here we are yeah. uh, just a, a few weeks away from the 2020 election. Yes. Uh, you know, there are a lot of headlines popping up right now in regards to anonymous sources, in regards to interviews that the president had saying the president said this, the president said that. If you could write the headline for your book in terms of here's a firsthand account of what the president president has said or the president has done, what would that be? Well, I would write the headline that Donald Trump is not antagonistic or adversarial towards the black community as the left would try to make him appear to be. And there's a number of behind the scenes conversations he and I had about police violence, about rioting, about protests, about a lot of things that are happening now. We talked about it then. And I think America will be pleasantly surprised to hear his um, behind the scenes opinions and and his reflections and comments on those conditions it's not a hit piece but it's not a fluff piece either it's just a matter of fact my recollection and i try to be as honest and forthright as i possibly can and where can we go to pick up a copy well right now you can go to amazon.com amazon.com and pre-order it they'll get it to you nothing to lose unlikely allies in the struggle for a better black america it'll be in a number of bookstores after it's released on tuesday but if you want to pre-order it you can pre-order it right now want to see more videos like this click on the link below and subscribe to one america news on youtube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that one america news is added to your lineup call and subscribe today